Good morning everybody on the road again, Norwich City away again. Feels like you spend most of your life on the roads these days. Coventry today and uh, Norwich hoping to uh, halt what is a poor run in general, but in particular on the road. They've lost their last four in all competitions. So should be an interesting one today against uh, a team that means quite a lot to that man there. So uh, we, we shall see how we get on. And in the back we've got Adam Harvey, freshly tanned from Malaga, who has uh, very kindly joined us. So it's going to be an, an interesting afternoon. Pad, I know you're driving, so we'll try not to interrupt you too much, but uh, you're looking forward to, I know you are in Coventry yesterday, but are you looking forward to a, a return home? Yeah, I went, I went uh, ball, uh, but this is the fourth, third trip of four <laughs> up and down the A14 in this place of 24 hours, family matters, but uh, we're literally just coming off the M6 now. And I've just looked to my left and seen the magnificence of the CBS Arena. We have 3,000 plus Norwich fans, yes, which is... Yeah. I've seen a few of them in rugby services. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not the longest compared to the Plymouth and uh, Swansea in this world, but still some effort. And let's just hope roll it on a few more hours and we go back to Norfolk. And those fans have uh, got something that is uh, a bit different to what we've seen in the last three or four away games. I think it's a big game for a lot of reasons today. Um, yeah. Certainly the mood, because obviously off the back of this, it's two weeks and no game. So we don't want another defeat and we've got to stew on that for two weeks. I'm willing to put, compromise my uh, love of all things Coventry City. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to say I want a defeat, but uh, maybe a draw, and then uh, you know both teams have got something to hang their hats on. But uh, it's best result for you as well, isn't it? Yeah, we take that. Yeah. We take that. But you know, if you push me, then you know the greater good is for the Canaries. So yeah, uh, it's very good of you. It's well, very you know, good of you. Three points for the Canaries. Gone, why not? <laughs> uh, you have managed to, to to get some blue into your attire today, though. So that's more that's good. Blue, the sky it is, blue, is a bit. Yeah. Is a bit. Mr. Harvey, talk us through the trip to Malaga. How was it? It, it was good, yeah. So I flew out uh, Monday and I spent two full days there. And lots of sightseeing, lots of food, uh, lots of drink, and lots of sun. So I feel quite refreshed. And I've kind of dipped then down in, into a trip to Coventry. So quite the come down <laughs> from. Uh, yeah, you uh, You know, I'm sure there's lots of nice cultural sites in, in Coventry. Transport museum. Don't get us going that. on the transport museum again. That route again but, um, it's got a big Tesco's. It does. It's actually a massive. Year. I think there's some status. It's like the biggest Tesco in Europe. Europe there we go. That's culture. Yeah, that's that's the sort of you know factual information we want on the bigger channel. But yeah, no, looking forward to being back as much as. I, I sort of did watch the game. Honestly. Well, I was going to say you did. Just tell us the setting that you watched because yeah, it, so it was a significantly better setting than we had. That's yeah, I was in a, a sports bar down sort of like the seafront. Well, I'd say the seafront, the beach at the Malaga, and there's a there's a Newcastle game on the TV, and I thought, do I just sit and watch that, or do I pay ten pounds to watch Norwich? And I decided to go down that route. Thankfully, I had a few drinks in front of me, so it made it slightly <laughs> less painful, but it wasn't a pretty watch. And for those reasons, I wasn't overly jealous that you boys were in Swansea. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm excited to be back as much as, you know, the football's not been ideal of late and the results haven't been going their way. I think they need a, a response today because otherwise you're going to go into this two week break, especially when you've got Daniel Farker out on the other side as well. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to look good if, if they don't get three points today. So, big game and hopefully we see a response. At least they've got the injury, you know, the injury situation looks like it's going to be better after, after the break. Yes, and actually if I spin round, you'll be able to see just on the horizon, there it is, the uh, the CBS Arena. So we, uh, we've just arrived here, it's about uh, 5 to 12 on Saturday, so we're going to go inside. We're uh, here nice and early, which is rare slash good, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we get today as uh, the boys have teed up nicely. It feels like a, a, a mood-defining mate or mood-setting uh, afternoon for Norwich City ahead of, obviously, that October international break. idea of the inner workings of the CBS arena so that door there is the press room We've got escalators this is a very modern setup Coventry lounge We've got a restaurant there uh, there's the doors that we that we came in and there's various security checks and you head down there which is uh, just looks like a, a little corridor and you may be able to see just at those uh, doors is a football stadium <laughs> It's uh, one of the more unique walks to uh, a concourse. 
Uh, as Paddy opens his door. So this door's not used. Okay. Rule breakers, look at that. Signs in the case we're on the uh, we're on the right way. Here she is. CVS Arena. Away from the football are more important patterns. Just try them on of these. Here it is. That is absolutely fantastic. Bronte chocolate chip and orange. So Bronte, want to get in touch and do some sponsorship deals? We'd be up for that. Excellent. Here is the team news. Very, very interesting selections from David Wagner. Uh, Sam McCallum in over Dimi Yanoulis, who is on the bench. So that feels like a selection one. It's the first time that Norwich have made a change to that back five uh, in the championship this season. He's gone largely with the uh, with the same options. Pohetta's back in. Uh, Liam Gibbs is back in for the first time since he started against Leicester. Adam Ida returns to the, to the squad. Uh, Gabriel Sauer will, will, will partner uh, Kenny McLean. A little bit disappointing. We're, we're not going to see him in a bit more of a uh, or forward position. And for Kov, they are going with Ellis Sims and Hachi right up front together, which I would, have, I would suspect is as a result of Mark Robbins looking at Norwich City's back line. The, uh, the warm-ups are underway. There's uh, Norwich City's players. Coventry's yet to emerge. And there is the away end just to my right filling up down there. Mr. Bradley Johnson with the, uh, with the Radio Norfolk guys. find themselves in front, probably the only bit of quality they, they really found in that first half. Uh, Liam Gibbs stole possession back so nicely into Jack Stacey, into who else but John Rowe. And uh, when John Rowe gets the ball in the penalty area uh, at the start of the season, there's only been one conclusion, and that has been a Norwich City goal. They've defended pretty well for, for large parts, even if they have been pretty cheap in possession at points. Coventry have enjoyed a lot of territory and, uh, and possession, but not necessarily converted that into really clear-cut chances, although Angus Gunn uh, has been called into, into action on a few occasions. Not the best performance from, from Norwich City, but uh, after the run they've had on the road, understandable the, the way that they've played it and the way that they've tried to be cautious. Feels like a big second half coming up because if they uh, fail to, to hold on to this, 3,000 fans there who have already shown indications of being a little bit frustrated with elements of what they've done before the goal. Um, Feel, still feels like a long way to go until that final whistle rings out uh, and it's going to be a big important 45 minutes ahead if only for the mood uh, around Norwich City. But as it stands half time, Coventry nil, Norwich one. match interview duties in front of that now empty away end. Hello everyone, I, I'm sat on the step in the uh, CBS arena, it's me and a 
a few other stadium staff. Uh, I've just recorded my my verdict. Um, yeah, not great, was it? <laughs> not great. You can obviously go and watch my verdicts on YouTube for my full uh, my full analysis if that's a little bit more coherent. But uh, I'm just shattered, to be honest. It's been a long few weeks, particularly on the road. I've had long trips, Plymouth, Swansea. This is quite a nice one, thankfully, from an O City perspective. I know Cov fans don't think that. Uh, and I have to say as well, you know, I, I came here in February and Norwich obviously won that day. But the transformation in, in this place more generally, um, and this is not just me sucking up to a fan base uh, or pad really, um, but 26,000 here today, drastically different. Noise levels were, were, were really good. I thought they made it a really difficult place to come. Uh, and it's nice to see Cobb after all the struggles that they've had and all the ownership issues. It's nice to, for them to have a, a home first and foremost, but also, you know, a, a really good football team run by a really good football manager. And uh, this, you know, I'm being at home for a reason because this place is really difficult. Uh, that being said, I didn't think Norwich were that great. And you can read my, I'm not going over it again. You can read my, uh, watch my verdict, sorry, and and um, agree or disagree with, with my assessment. Uh, but yeah, there we go. From the CBS Arena, time to start the journey home. Thankfully, I don't think we'll be, uh, we'll be back as late. I'm quite hungry though, so some food will be good. Uh, yeah, it may not have been a good day for Norwich City. There's the CBS, and over there in the distance, you'll see the. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. That is the Tesco's. Proper culture that in Cov. We are all here. I'm still zoomed in. There we go. We are now heading over this bridge to our car, which sits just over there. I'm sure you can see it, the white one. There we go. There's Paddy and Adam. There's the roads that we're heading on. Time to go home. <laughs> 